You see? You see? The horse, eh? Yeah, yeah, Peter. Ready? Ready, Peter? Yeah, all right. All right. Yeah, I got the only line on the sun. Lucky bro, this is a pretty boy. We can get it today, you know? Come. Come myself. Come myself. Come on, yeah, we had last time. I get say no. I say they probably may work. I'm a small one. They can bring it. Yeah, I think we go home. Yeah. That will really like that. But you get food. Like the hardest thing. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, with that, just, just like a, just, just, just like a clip. So, folks, here we are. We are about to start. Uh, this is a pen spin fisher five, ten thousand five hundred. It's a huge reel. Look at it in my hand. I have fairly large hands. And this thing makes my hand look like nothing. This is overkill for, for fishing. It's a Spin Fisher 5, 10,500. And it, even though it looks really nice on the outside, apparently uh, it needs a full service. Uh, lots of things are locking up on it. So we are going to open it up and give it a full service. Keep you in touch. Cheers. Hello so folks, here we are. I want to service the spool carrier and the bale. But if you look at the bale carefully, let me come into focus. I can't work with that screw. So I want to record for the uh, customer that there's nothing I can do about this screw. Somebody has butchered this. And I could show him a number of screws on the reel that are butchered, but I was able to work with those. But now that I come to this one, you can see clearly it's neither Phillips, a flathead. I don't know what on earth that is, but uh, cannot be worked on. Cheers. Good news, folks. I was able to undo the screw using a technique that I learned years ago on sewing machines. And uh, it worked. And I was able for the first time for this customer, if you look carefully, to free up his, look how smooth that is moving now. I was able to take it apart and let's see how it's moving he couldn't get it to move before it had seized and he obviously went at it or somebody went at it with a terrible tool but there is a technique that you can get out screws like this that have no head 
So I went into my toolbox to see if I could locate that tool. I found it, was able to completely remove this, service all the parts, put it back on, and get it back on again. But I'm going to advise him to replace that screw at a future date. Okay, this reel is ready to, uh, to finish, and that's it. Cheers. So, folks, here we are on the inside of the Spin Fisher 5. <clears throat> I want to point out a few things for the customer's sake. Even though this grease looks fresh and nice, great. See all down here? All of that is, let me just clean the edge of this. All of this, if you look, is sand and silt all stuck up. Look at that. It's all sand and, and salt water. There's been salt water. Look at some more here. Look at all that. See that? That's all salt water and, and sand got in all here. Looks like this reel was dumped. If you look, <coughs> the Spin Fisher 5 comes with a seal, the water seal, that goes completely around. Obviously, it failed or the water came in from the top. So it is possible that this thing was completely submerged or a wave broke on it or maybe it was being trolled on the side of a boat and uh, consequently water just kept coming in through the top. Very possible because this seal is supposed to keep out water but it could come in from water intrusion from the top. Anyway, we're going to pull it apart and give a good clean out but we need to record all this for the customer. Cheers. So folks, here we are. <clears throat> As you can see, if you look on the inside of the reel, this this type of grease is still nice and fresh, but here is a here's a problem. That is all coagulated grease, and it started to rust because water was inside of this reel. There's no doubt in my my water got in. Um, further to that, if you look at the consistency of the of the grease, look at how watery the grease is. Look at that. If I do like this, it just falls off. Look at that. That's all watery, watery grease. Water has been inside of this reel and it's been there for a little while. Um, yep, so we're going to clean her up. Let's have a look at the top with the gear, with the gears. And, yep, there it is. So we're going to clean her all up and get her working as the way she should be. Okay, keep you in touch. Cheers. So, folks, here we are. This is a grand sum of all of the parts that make up this Spin Fisher 5, 10,500 size. As you can see, we have cleaned up all the inside. This is the way the insides should be. Service everything on it. Everything has been taken apart, cleaned properly. The top of the <coughs> spool, we have out the drag washers. And we have service the bottom. That's a very large one at the bottom. We have the retainers here with fresh grease on it. And that is the cover for it. All cleaned up and ready to go. <coughs> this is your main gear. Look at how beautiful that came back. Nice and clean. Service the, uh, <coughs> all of the bearings have been serviced. And we're just ready to put it right back up, folks. So the next time you see this video, this reel will be up and running. Hope you enjoyed this. Here's your pinion gear. Beautiful how it's come back. Nice and clean. Polished. Beautiful, ready to go. Okay, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Next time you see this reel, it will be working. Cheers.